Good morning everyone, it's Amy and I am here to do the TMI tag, Betsy Doodle, which is D, tagged me on this. So I'm going to try and do it fast because I can only record for like 15 minutes before it um, won't let me upload. So first off, what are you wearing? I am wearing flannel pajamas with penguins on it. And that's because it is 17 below zero Fahrenheit here this morning. So trying to stay warm. Have you ever been in love? Oh, uh, yes, I have with my husband, who we've been married for 26 years. And have you ever had a terrible breakup? Yes, I have. How tall are you? I am 5 foot 7 and shrinking. How much do you weigh? Too much. But I do have to say that when my mom got sick, they gave her six months to live when her kidneys failed. And, um... She was a little overweight, and it seemed like that every time someone new got sick and came in, if they were really skinny, they wound up not making it very well. So I think that as you get older in life, I think God makes us get a little heavier. I think it actually helps us to fight things off and make it through different treatments because she lived for five years. So I don't think it hurts for any of us to be a little overweight as we get older. So... That's just my opinion. Um, do you have any tattoos? No, I do not. Do you have any piercings? Just my ears, just one. And my Aunt Tita did it for me with a needle and a potato behind your ear when I was like five. They had to chase me down to catch me to do the second ear because I was out of there. But it was my idea. I wanted it done. So I do have one in each ear. Um, one true pairing peanut butter and chocolate. Favorite show? The Big Bang Theory. I think it's hilarious. I love Sheldon. Your favorite band? Um, right now, I really like Owl City. I just love the kind of softness of their music and just the whole thing. I love it. Something you miss? My mom. And I miss my girls being little. They're both grown now and gone and, um, yeah, I really miss them being little. Your favorite song, Unchained Melody. I love Unchained Melody. How old are you? I am 51. I will be 52 in August. Your zodiac sign, I am a Virgo. The quality you look for in a partner. Loyalty, honesty, someone that will be there for you when you need it. Favorite quote? Oh, I don't have a favorite quote. I love quotes. I have a million of them. Um, I love, um, nothing will happen to me today that is not first filtered through the hands of God. And I like, I am too blessed to be stressed and too anointed to be disappointed. Um, I just have a ton of them. I love them all. Some biblical, some not. Um, your favorite actor. I love Julia Roberts. I think that she's just wonderful. Your favorite color? Copper, rust. I just love the earth tones. Loud music or soft? Mostly soft. Um, unless I'm, like, trying to, like, get cleaning or something like that. Then I might put on some loud music, make me move faster. Where do you go when you're sad? inside my head. I usually don't show it, I don't think. It just goes in there and gets processed. How long does it take you to shower? 15 or 20 minutes. I really like a hot shower. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? Well, I stay home and take care of my dad. So normally in the morning I throw on sweatpants and a t-shirt. And that's it. So, it doesn't take me long at all. Two minutes. Um, have you ever been in a physical fight? Once. At the bus stop when I was like 15. And the neighbor girl started a fight. Um, and the other girl at the bus stop was egging it on. So we actually got into a fight. My pants came unzipped and started to fall down. So I had to say, stop, stop. I have to zip my pants. And then we could start fighting again. But. I stopped, we zipped, I, we stopped, I zipped up my pants, and then we didn't start fighting again. 
it was really silly. Um, let me see. Turn-ons. Romantic movies. Just romantic movies, not sexual movies. I think that we've lost a lot of the actual romance nowadays. Um, I keep losing my place. Turn-offs. Rude, mean people. I just, I don't think there's any reason to be rude or mean. I think that we should be happy. We've only got so much time on this earth. Um, the reason you joined YouTube was for the community. Um, I started watching Fiona's channel, and I wanted to comment, and everybody just seemed so nice, and they all talk back and forth to each other, and I stay home and take care of my dad by myself. And so, um, you know, I mean, my husband comes home at night or on the weekends, and, you know, my kids come and visit once in a while, but mostly I'm here. And so it was nice to just have a community, and I have really enjoyed it. Fears, fire. I'm afraid of fires, and I'm afraid of tornadoes. Those are the two things that actually get me scared. The last thing that made you cry, um, Shaz's video. When she put up the video of the pages that she made, um, she showed the page that she made, and then she showed a special page that she made for my dad. And that really made me cry because it was just thoughtful, and, um, you know, he's 90, he's homebound. Um, so, you know, I think I get bored, but, you know, I can run out and go grocery shopping for an hour or two, um, and that type of thing, or run to the bank. He's here, you know, he only goes out to go to the doctor or something, so... It was just so special that she made that, especially for me. And then she said, only the best dads get promoted to Papa. And um, I just thought it was wonderful because he really is the best dad. He is a wonderful man. And I am glad that he is my father. Okay, the last time that you said that you love someone. Um, 15 minutes ago, 20 minutes ago, when my husband left for work. The meaning behind your YouTube name. My initials, A-L, and then John for my last name. The last book that you read, uh, Tuesdays with Maury. And the seven people you meet when you get to heaven. Oh, my goodness gracious, and I can't think of his name. Mitch Album. And right now he is my favorite author. I love his books. So, let's see. Currently, I am not reading anything, Mo just magazines. The last show that you watched on TV, Big Bang Theory. The last person that you talked to, my husband this morning when he left for work. The relationship between you and the person that you last texted, I believe that was my nephew. Um, he was down for the weekend from college, and he texted me to tell me that he made it back safely, and I told him thank you. Favorite food? Mexican. Any kind of Mexican. Love tamales. Um, place you want to visit? I don't know. I There's so many places that I, I'd like to go overseas, but I think that, that would I'd be afraid of that. Um, but I would also like to take my girls and their significant others like to Disneyland. We've been when they were little, but I think it would be fun to go as adults. Um, the last place that you were, other than home, um, doctor's office this last week. Do you have a crush? My husband. The last time you kissed someone, this morning when my husband left for work. The last time that you were insulted. I don't know, I really can't remember. Yeah. I try not to let things that people say get to me. Your favorite sweet. Oh, chocolate. Has to be chocolate. Any kind of chocolate. Chocolate with nuts in it. What instruments do you play? I play the piano. Um, and not well. My girlfriend came to try and teach me. And I did actually have one recital. I did okay. Um, but yeah, I don't play well. And then that was it. Favorite piece of jewelry? Meh, it's my wedding ring. And then I always wear a cross necklace. 
I don't have just one. The kids buy me one and my husband buy me one every year for Christmas. So I change them around, but I always wear a cross or nothing else. Um, just because I like to have that with me for comfort. And that's the whole reason I wear it. The last sport that you played? Really nothing. I was terrible in school at sports. I was like always, always the last kid that got picked. Nobody wanted me on their team. When I got, when it got to be last, the team that was supposed to get me told the other team, you can have her. So yeah, sports, not my thing. <laughs> I have never been good at it. The last song that you sang? I really don't know. I'm not sure even the last time that I sang. Except sometimes um, something gets like stuck in my head and I kind of hum it in my head. Something I've heard on TV or the radio or something, but I don't know the last time I've sang. Favorite chat-up line? I never had one. Too shy. Um, have you ever used it? No, because I never had one. I never had the guts to go up to somebody. As a matter of fact, my sister asked my husband if he was married because he was our Schwann's man, which is a delivery man that delivers food, ice cream, and that type of thing. And he came in one day, and I heard her ask him. Well, actually, I was just coming home from work, and as I opened the door, I heard her say, So, are you married? And he said, No. And she said, Oh, because my sister thinks you're cute. And I shut the door and left. <laughs> I was so embarrassed. But he's now my husband. Um, the last time that you hung out with someone, my husband was laid off for a few weeks, and so he stayed here and stayed with Dad, and my daughter and I went down to Grand Rapids, which is about an hour away, and visited with my niece, Kendra, who just had a baby. And we got to see the baby. It was just wonderful, and the baby is beautiful. And who should answer these questions next? Well, let's see. Becky from Aunt Bex Creations and Fiona Jennings, Jennings 644. Haven't seen anybody tag her yet, and I'd like to hear her answer these questions. Thank you all for coming and listening, and the one thing that I do have to show you here is the rocking chair that I promised I would show you was sitting right here all the time when I came and looked for it, and this is exactly where I looked for it. Don't know how I missed it. But this is the little rocking chair that I made out of mini clothespins. So, yeah, that's it. Originally, I made them out of regular clothespins, but then when I got these little mini ones, I just had to try it, and it turned out so cute. regular size clothespins will make a little rocking chair um, that will fit like a Tybini baby. So, that's my little rocking chair, and I was in such a hurry. I came over here looking for it, and I couldn't find it, and it was sitting right there. So... Thank you all for watching. I hope you have an outstanding day. Bye-bye.